Welcome everyone. It is February 2018. I just wanted to come on and uh, bring up a few updates as to the Family Forward Project. I'm Connie Regulate. Uh, first of all, if you are on Facebook, uh, you should become part of our group, the Family Forward Project, which is a nationwide group of about 8,500 members. We are here uh, and collecting uh, for reform in the child welfare and the family court system. There are some things I just wanted to specifically talk about today. I've got some cheat sheets here, so I'm going to introduce you to these topics. First of all, events. We have uh, events that are going on in several states, and they are posted in the events section of the Family Forward Project. Other people are posting their events there, which I don't mind as long as it is consistent with our uh, project and our platform. Uh, our programs will have either the logo, the Family Forward Project logo, it'll have uh, Family Forward Project in the header of it. Uh, if other people are posting events there, I just want to let you know I do not mind. Just please do not use our logo or the Family Forward Project in the title so that other people know which ones that I am sponsoring and participating in. A uh, second, it, I want to talk about decenters. So we all know, watch enough local news these days to know that our national news, there are dissenters in every avenue and every walk of life, and we have our own. They have their own kind of flavor. They like to stir up trouble and call names and say parents are bad or say things about me. And if you've ever watched the movie Lion King and you've seen Scar and all the hyenas, that's exactly what they look like to me. They don't bother me. I say get out of our way. If you're not with us, you're against us, so just move out of the way. So if you see somebody who is maybe posting thing, something that's inappropriate, please just send me a message so that I can either uh, address it with them privately or I can remove them from the group. Next, states. So we have um, uh, are creating kind of little subgroups in each state, and we'll probably go ahead and create uh, social media groups for the various states so that people in those states can collect, get to know each other, understand what specific projects or contacts they're making in those states, specifically legislative contacts or uh, media contacts, etc. cetera. Uh, travel, so if you watched my little clip from last year, I went to several different locations and we had meetings. I got to meet a lot of people, shake hands, hug people. It's very inspirational to be able to do that. Uh, if I am traveling hours on an airplane and spending the night and going away from my home and my work, I'm just going to ask that if you are anywhere within two or three hours away, maybe even four hours away, that you make yourself available and come. It's very important that we meet, we talk, we encourage each other, and we continue to move forward. Uh, also, for 2018, advocacy is going to be our theme. As I go around and I reach out to people and talk about training in advocacy, here's just a little outline at sort of what I call a hit list of the things that we will need to cover. One is that you need to be knowledgeable. Two, you need to watch your demeanor and have an appropriate demeanor. Three, you need to have appropriate communication skills. You need to understand scheduling and coordination. You need to understand documentation, resources, and assessment. And we'll be talking about all of those specifically as we meet in our separate little group meetings. I want to thank everybody for becoming involved. I uh, love you. I feel so bad for so many people who have gone through such tragic circumstances that our government has created. So uh, if we don't continue, if we don't stay strong, if we don't do it, uh, the next generation is at risk. So we want to stay strong and stay encouraged and stay motivated. I thank you. I love you. And stay in touch. Happy February 2018, everyone. I am Connie Regulate. I just wanted to give a few updates on the Family Forward Project for 2018. Uh, I'm doing this through YouTube Live, um, and we'll post it over to our Facebook groups uh, for circulation. Uh, I want to talk about a couple things. One of them is if you are not, if you're seeing this on YouTube, and you are not involved in the Family Forward Project through Facebook, please, uh, through your Facebook account, join this public group. It is about 
child welfare reform and family court reform. Uh, we have over 8,500 members from across the country. I'm doing a lot of traveling throughout the United States and having meetings, and I want to talk about a few things that we need to go over for 2018. Number one, I want to talk about events. Events. Through um, our uh, Facebook group, uh, a lot of people are posting their events, which is fine. Um, I always preface our events with Family Forward Project or uh, Foster Gate uh, and put our logo, typically put our logo in there. So if you do not see Family Forward Project or Foster Gate in the heading, it might be an event from another group, which is fine, but um, I don't know anything about those events usually. I don't promote them. I don't sponsor them. I just don't want to block anybody if they have similar events in other areas that they want to share. I do have some events coming up. We have February the 17th in North Carolina, March the 17th in Connecticut, March the 23rd in Montana. We are also getting ready to schedule events in Indiana, and I have some other people trying to contact me to get events set for Georgia, Alabama, and other areas. Um, second, dissenters. Through our Facebook group, we have a few people who are dissenters or create and stir up arguments, and I just want to let you know it doesn't bother me. My attitude is if you're not with us, just get out of the way. Uh, I often think about the movie Lion King and Scar, because I used to watch that with my children and the hyenas, and I just view all these dissenters as Scar and the hyenas, so they are of no mind to me. We need to continue to move forward. If you see somebody making bad comments and you want to send me a message uh, and have review their comments to block them from the group, I'll be happy to do that. Next, states. Okay, so we have, put it this way, states. Um, we have several different states that are setting up individual family forward project groups, which is a good idea because that way we can uh, begin to have communication within that state to be able to talk to legislators, make legislative recommendations and changes. So um, uh, as far as the main Family Forward Project, I still want for our national effort to go through that uh, group um, because we need to post stories, post legislative changes that we need to be aware of across state boundaries. Next, travel. So I am traveling to several states. If you are new to the group, you probably have not seen my little video clip of all the places that I went last year. Uh, if I am traveling hours and overnight to get to locations in your state or in a nearby state, I would just ask that you make the effort to drive two or three or maybe even four hours to get there to join us. It's so much different to be able to meet people face to face and shake hands and hug and write down notes and, and communication and just really give one-on-one -on -one, uh, support to each other. Next, advocacy. Advocacy is going to be our uh, message for 2018. And as I go around and talk to people and train people and talk about what a real advocate looks like, here are the things that I will be talking about. You can see this. One, it's important to be knowledgeable Two, demeanor, your demeanor is, needs to be appropriate. You need to have appropriate communication skills. You need to understand the skills of scheduling and coordination. You need to understand documentation, resources, and assessment. Those are gonna be our keys for looking at and developing advocacy programs in each state. Uh, finally, I just want to touch base with you about a law change in Tennessee, or a legal update in Tennessee. Um, we just had a case come down in Tennessee that says that guardian ad litems do not necessarily have immunity. Uh, this is a case called Runyon v. Zacharias. It just came out of the Tennessee courts January the 23rd, 2018, and it basically says that the laws that provide for guardian ad litem immunity is a rebuttable presumption because if they are not performing duties within the scope of the order or within the scope of the Supreme Court rules, they may not have immunity. And that can be 
over any immunity presumption can be overcome. A lot of people complain about guardian ad litems, so I thought this was an important message. As I looked around on the internet, I also found that Washington State had made a rendered a similar decision. Um, there might be a similar law in your state. Again, thank everybody for everything they do. I appreciate you, and I want you to stay motivated. Love you. Bye-bye.